Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from the grounds of the Pink Palace Museum in the Central Gardens area, Midtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik out and about this morning, keeping an eye on the weather. And as of right now, things are gorgeous. Hope you have a good chance to get out and get some fresh air out here because it's a beautiful morning so far. Just a few clouds here and there, but really not much more than that. And a beautiful start to the day. Again, looking at some very quiet conditions immediately. But as we get into later on this afternoon and this evening, that's where we may see the possibility of some stronger weather heading our way, especially into later on tonight. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. Current forecast in the blue bar here. Want to find me on social media, email addresses, everything else down here in the red bar, and our brand new email address right down here in the bottom section of this particular frame that I'm in. So if you want to send me anything, details, ideas, what you would like to see on our weather blog called Weather Overtime, if I haven't introduced that properly yet, this is your opportunity to learn a lot more about what's going on in these locations. Let's go ahead and get started with what's going on immediately. As of right now, on radar across the area, in and around Memphis via the Radar Scope app, we have precious little of anything taking place here. Likewise, throughout the rest of the Mid-South area, we're just not seeing too much of anything really going on at this point in time. Go a little farther to the west and into around Little Rock. You can see a lot more activity going on back to around Fort Smith, into around Hevener, around the area of Poto and Pecola in western areas of Arkansas, and back into around eastern areas of Oklahoma. Some fairly heavy amount of showers and thunderstorms, a very large flash flood warning in effect, including Fayetteville, almost all the way up to around uh, the area close to uh, Eureka Springs and all the way down to Mountainburg, Mulberry, and just around the Fort Smith area. So some decent amounts of thunderstorms taking place here. Signs of things to come, basically, for what we are going to be seeing as we go into the course of the rest of the day. So this is something that we're going to be keeping a very close eye on. And as we go throughout the rest of the day today, again, the possibility is going to be more toward afternoon and evening more than anything else. Most of what you're seeing here is sliding basically north-northeast. So a lot of this is not moving directly toward the Mid-South area, but we do have some scattered showers back into around central Arkansas, south of Marshall, west of Little Rock, and it looks like a little bit more activity trying to get going back down to around DeWitt, uh, Alzheimer just around the east and southeast of Pine Bluff. So that's something we're going to be watching out for. But again, nothing directly at this time in the News Channel 3 viewing area. But that could change as we get into the course of the next couple of days. Traffic at this time. Again, the usual slowdowns at various locations, including Highway 78, I-22 around Lamar, just around Tuggle Road, down towards Shelby Drive, and it looks like a couple of accidents here and there on Sycamore View at I-40, and also in and around the area uh, close to around the airports, just around Elvis Presley Boulevard. It looks like an accident taking place there. So if you're heading out the door this morning, this is something you may be looking at uh, keeping an eye on. Also something you want to keep your eye on is looking again at uh, Vector Vanderbilt cameras from the Vector Transit. Transport Center, Transportation Research Center at Vanderbilt University. All the TDOT Smartway cameras in one location. Great, uh, handy place to go to to get information about what's going on. Looks like we have a vehicle uh, in distress on the side of the roadway at I-240 and Union with the TDOT Smartway help trucks out there and all the usual slowdowns in the usual places. So let's be careful out there. Allow for a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going, but at least we don't have anything taking place in the way of major problems. Want to see what the weather's doing in the Mid-South? Go to wreg.com slash webcam so you can get more information about what's going on across the Mid-South visibly, traffic, and otherwise. A beautiful morning out there, again, with a lot of blue skies. View from St. Francis of Assisi, again, looking at some very nice conditions out there. Traffic actually pretty light at this time. Haven't seen something like that in quite some time there. Looking at our satellite picture, again, visible satellite picture from the Penn State Meteorology Group. We don't have much in the way of cloud cover at this time. Heaviest cloud cover is back to our west, and that was again from last night. Not really seeing too much of anything there, but more showers and thunderstorms heading our way from back out that direction. So more activity and a large area of low pressure making its way up the east coast states into the area where it involves radar. Again, wide-scale radar from also Penn State showing the heaviest showers and thunderstorms from just around St. Louis down to Fort Smith. And that yellow box that you see popping on the screen there uh, on the area in the polygons, the yellow polygons indicate a severe thunderstorm watch. We'll talk more about that coming up in just a little bit. But from Dallas all the way up to Springfield, Missouri, 
got again some pretty good amounts of showers and thunderstorms taking place at this time. What we're going to be seeing into the rest of the next couple of days by noon today that front gets into the area just west of us. It's not in any hurry to move, but it is going to be moving relatively steadily. And those dark red areas that you see on screen, that's where we may see, again, the possibility of some stronger weather. So for most of Arkansas, northwest Louisiana, northeast Texas, that's where we'll see the worst of the activity. That storm system advances on the Mid-South as we get into later on this afternoon and into this evening. And this is, again, the biggest time of the day, the best possibility of getting thunderstorms, uh, the heaviest activity when the atmosphere is at its most turbulent after the sun has heated the lower levels of the atmosphere, just like the water that you boil on a stove to make tea or coffee or soup or whatever. That, again, is where we're going to be seeing the worst activity later on tonight. Some of that could linger into around midnight, but it looks like most of the activity is going to be going south and east of us, and then most of it should be gone by this time tomorrow morning. So definitely good news on that. By Thursday evening, high pressure is in control, but another storm system coming in from out west, and that's going to be moving into the Mid-South as we go toward Friday afternoon and evening. So we've got kind of a triple whammy coming our way into the next couple of days. We're going to be seeing the first storm system move in, through, and out of the area tonight and into tomorrow. Next storm system comes in from out west, and this one, again, begins to give us the possibility of even more activity coming on through. Uh, National Weather Service in Memphis on their seven-day hazardous weather outlook has us at a five out of five for tonight for the possibility of anything happening is in the way of severe weather. Then by Friday night into Saturday and again on Sunday, looking at the possibility of again more possible more showers and thunderstorms, some of which could be severe into the weekend and some flash flooding could be a possible problem with heavy rainfall. These storms are going to be decently charged with moisture, so we're going to have a lot out there where it comes to that moisture coming on through. Let's take a look and see what's going on with the possibility of temperatures today. Again, mid to upper 70s, a little bit cooler back toward northeastern Arkansas where you see uh, those temperatures a little bit more yellow. Back into around the lower 80s from Union City, Dyersburg, Ripley, Jackson, the metro area, and down into Clarksdale, Helena, West Helena, Oxford, and Tupelo for later on today. Chances of rainfall will start to make their way into the Mid-South again by later on this afternoon. This front is kind of parallel to the northeast to the southwest, so as this makes its way on through, we're going to be seeing better chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through in a kind of a sharp line. This could be a bit of a squall line coming on through into this afternoon and this evening. That overspreads the area through about 7 o'clock tonight continues until about News Channel 3 at 10. And then by about tomorrow morning, Thursday morning after midnight, things start to clear out by just a little bit, but not all the way until we get into early tomorrow morning around drive time. Then all the rainfall should be gone. When's the next chance of rainfall? We'll take a look at that in a second. Highs tomorrow in the upper 60s to around the lower 70s. Low temperatures for Thursday night back in the mid to upper 50s to the lower 60s. More rainfall chances begin Thursday night and into Friday morning start to overspread the area. It's then that we get into Friday night that we see that potential of even heavier showers and thunderstorms. The dark green that you see shows again the possibility of the heaviest rainfall coming on through and that's where we see again the potential for what we're going to be looking at in the way of heavier rainfall and possibly some flash flooding going on as we go right on into Saturday and unfortunately it looks like Saturday night and into Sunday another round of showers and thunderstorms coming on through and it looks to be a fairly soggy weekend across much of the area. Storm Prediction Center has raised the possibility of severe weather. Uh, this is the brand new forecast given to us just a few minutes ago. A moderate risk red bullseye that you see there over southern Arkansas and northern Louisiana. That's where we've got, again, the main target zone. But looking over the Mid-South area, we have an enhanced risk. That orange-shaded category that we have gives us the potential of, again, stronger weather here best possibility well on down to our southwest and we'll continue that direction throughout much of the rest of the morning into this afternoon. Now tomorrow's threat doesn't look to be like too much of a problem. We see again a uh, marginal threat back to our east into eastern Tennessee, middle Tennessee, and much of the deep south. And then we get into around the area of it looks like Saturday 
or Friday night, if I'm not mistaken, another enhanced risk for much of the area getting into around late Friday, early Saturday. So we could see, again, some active days coming up into the next couple of days. I want to take a look at the uh, thunderstorm outlooks. This page gives you an idea as to what's happening. The better possibility of where and when the thunderstorms will be developing. The red bullseye that you see here, this is, again, from about 10 o'clock this morning through roughly about 2 o'clock this afternoon and giving us, again, the possibility of the heaviest development from southern areas of Missouri right on in through central parts of Arkansas and moving on into around the Mid-South area. Then that threat shifts a little bit closer to us. Again, the best possibility of thunderstorm development from 2 until 6 o'clock just to the west of the Mississippi River and then moving across the Mississippi River from about 6 p.m. through about 10 p.m. later on tonight. So again, moving in a pretty steady progression and kind of spreading out by just a little bit uh, into around the 10 o'clock hour tonight. But starting off again, anything through this afternoon and into this evening, we'll be looking for better chances of showers and thunderstorms developing in the Mid-South, some of which could be on the strong to severe side. So it's not, that is something that we are going to be watching with a lot of interest out there as we see again the storm system moving on through. What we've got again is this a lot of energy digging into the atmosphere. You notice this great big dip of energy right here. That again is that storm system really digging, as we say, farther south, helping to stir up a lot more energy and also doing a good job of picking up a lot of moisture right around the Gulf of Mexico and helping to transport it up over the area. So that's going to be the fuel for these showers and thunderstorms. And we're going to have a whole bunch of energy with this activity as that large sweep of energy moves its way through the atmosphere and heads toward the Mid-South. So that's what's going to be powering and fueling these thunderstorms coming on through. And again, there could be that possibility of some severe weather out there as well. If we have time tonight and if we are going to be able to uh, get any clear skies out there, it looks like that stargazing in the next couple of days is going to be almost next to impossible with more clouds and more rainfall and everything else. We'll bring you an update on our sky blog page later on tonight. More than likely, that's going to be curtailed because of the fact that we have more severe weather heading our direction. But don't get, forget to stay tuned to News Channel 3. Todd Demers has more on your update uh, coming up on News News Channel 3 live at 9 and also on News Channel 3 at noon and then Tim and Jim are in for later on tonight to keep you updated as to what's going on when it comes to severe weather. Again, we are the weather experts. We want to keep you updated on what's happening, so keep it tuned for the latest information, including the possibility of watches and warnings. When that happens, we'll let you know about it either on air or online, so stay tuned for more and we'll keep you updated on that throughout the next course of the, next, the course of the next several hours. You need to stay tuned on this. Live and direct from out and about in in Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If there's anything we can do to let you know about this, email address right here, austin.onig at wreg.com. Thanks for joining me for today's update of Weather Overtime, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day for more information on our upcoming bouts of severe weather.